we are now going to show you a little demonstration of how to set up the pop tube suction unit. So we have your little pop tube. I love expanding them because they're kind of fun. My, my kids love these too. And you take it, it's about the right length, right out of the box. It goes over your high volume suction uh, with the extender on it. The best part is that the tube diameter is just about the same diameter as the housing here. So you turn your suction on, you bend the tube around a little bit. Now you take your funnel, your paper cone, which has a little hole in it, just a little bit smaller than the tube. It was right in there. Okay. You bend it a little bit so it's generally in the right vicinity. It's moving a lot of air. You can hear it and you can feel it. If you were here, you could feel it. Now move it in the general direction of your patient's face. Now I'll be the patient because, of course, I don't have a patient here right now. This gets bent to whatever range you want. They say it should be within 10 inches, but really, even from here, I can feel it moving air. You do your procedure. This is not a substitute for a really high volume unit, but if you have somebody who's working in a room where there is only one operator and a high volume suction that's not being used, I would say that this is better than nothing. And it costs less than a buck per patient. When you're done, everything just gets thrown away. So. There it is. I'd make the video longer, but it's so simple, it doesn't really even require a longer video. So if you want to give it a try, it doesn't cost you much. Enjoy.